Now, following Cristiano Ronaldo storming off down the tunnel during Man United's match against Spurs, uh, the BBC made a social media post referring to his behaviour as throwing a paddy. Uh, Many were outraged by the comments, uh, dated and offensive uh, an expression it is, uh, used by English people to describe someone having an over-the-top reaction. Well, joining me now is an Irish person who's lived for an extended period in the UK, uh, comedian and the presenter of the Irish Man Abroad podcast, Jarlath Regan. Jarlath, good morning. How are you, Pat? I had never heard this expression before. <laughs> and neither had we till we moved to the UK. In fact, my wife worked as an early years teacher while we were over there. She now presents the Irishman Abroad podcast, Honey, You're Ruining Our Kid, with me. And she came home to me from school, having heard it used many times in reference to children throwing a strop or different people being cantankerous. What does this term mean? We both had to Google it until we got there. And the thing you learn when you're there, and I'm sure you've had this experience yourself, Pat, and your listeners will too, is there's such an affection for Irish people in the UK that you suddenly learn that a lot of these phrases aren't meant badly because they do have a warm opinion of Irish people. They're just oblivious to how offensive they can be viewed. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, were you offended when you heard the use of this expression? No, I just wasn't surprised. I mean, my own son, when he attended school in the UK, was affectionately referred to as potato by the teachers. They told us (laughs) that's what they referred to him as. I mean, you have to laugh sometimes, Pat. Like, really, when I read this, I was like, somebody checked it. Like, this, this, this is a social media post, just so that people are clear. It wasn't used on match of the day. But there's every chance that it could have been because somebody checked this tweet before it goes out to see if it's OK. And yeah. they were OK with the term throwing a paddy. And from what I can tell from I've kind of po- I've polled the listeners of Irishman Abroad. And just this morning, we had 50 responses saying that people had heard it and that just like many of the offensive terms that or that terms that can be viewed as offensive, they're never used directly to you. They're usually used in reference to other and sometimes in your company to gauge if you're okay with it. Yeah. Now, presumably it was born uh, back in history and based on uh, an observation by some person who coined the phrase originally uh, and it was an Irishman who lost the head. But we don't know. It's lost in the mists of time. We don't know, but it's definitely not a positive thing. There's no no question that they're, they're not paying somebody a compliment by saying it. And I think that it would more than likely refer to irrational behavior brought on through abuse of alcohol, uh, the references to Irish people being violent and fighting, uh, that that seems to be the origin of it. Although one person did get in touch with me to say that they believe that it actually was of a Welsh extraction, uh, meaning a Welsh word meaning to pout. Now, I don't have clarification on that. All I have is a a kind of dictionary definition from a kind of a slang website that does refer to it as a reference to an Irish irrationality. Mm. Now, things being referred to as a little bit Irish is another thing that you will see quite a bit over there, probably is used even more than this term, is that if something's a little bit skew or poorly thought out, it's referred to as being a little bit Well, we, we actually have loads of examples here uh, of things being a little bit Irish. I mean, we've always had the Irish solution to the Irish problem, uh, both Mm. in politics and other things. I mean, you could say that the construction of the children's hospital, (laughs) a little bit Irish uh, in terms of the delays and the expense and so on. But even this morning, uh, we were talking about, you know, there's a velodrome planned. Mm -hmm. And the reason that it's been stalled is that there was no provision for cycle lanes (laughs) up to the cycling (laughs) velodrome. (laughs) Like, Pat, Pat, I am a comedian (laughs) first. And my main interest in this is language. Like, I love language and I love the use of it. And I love double entendres. And also us finding fun in ourselves is a very different thing from an English person pointing out something being Irish. I think that we all understand that having someone who understands Ireland and Irishisms and the absurdity of how we've governed ourselves and made decisions in the past can be hilarious because it's us saying it. It's why they say that it's okay for me to say that, but not for you because Mm -hmm. we're us and you're not. In so many ways, that's the line when I'm creating a comedy show 
is knowing well what what is acceptable for me to say from my position of yeah. privilege as a straight white Irish man uh, who hasn't really struggled in the way other people have. There's certain things that are off limits to me, and certainly referring to things as a bit Irish as an English person with the history can be viewed mm. as offensive. And that's why I always say can be viewed. Can be viewed. Be clear, yeah. There are those people that will take offense on behalf of the Irish people in the room. <laughs> <laughs> we call so, those so allies sometimes. <laughs> before you go on stage, do you have to pull on your PC pants? Look, more and more, Pat, the PC pants means an understanding. Really, it's an empathy. So when people say, oh, it's PC gone mad, when I think about that in terms of comedy, I think, no, it's more that comedy and the world has taken a wider lens as to who the words you say are impacting and how you're contributing to an atmosphere. And I fully understand that there is two sides to that sword. But I definitely prefer a world in which we have to think before we make jokes yeah. rather than doing what what this what this actual story comes down to is somebody meaning no harm. And that a lot of the times with jokes, we can mean no harm, but we can cause some. Yeah. 